Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about yay settling with Yeezy stuff and it's a pretty penny as well. Now, that's not the only thing that is going on. Bianca is stepping up to the plate. Bianca is saying far too many people are stepping forward, suing her husband and using false claims in order to get themselves a quick paycheck. And as such, Bianca is going back all the way back to ensure that she fix whatever she can fix and she's providing additional security layers, which means that she's ensuring that her husband is now being protected from these vultures, some of which you're about to hear in this report about Ye's lawsuit. No, as I've said in this video, we're going to talk about Ye settling with former Yeezy employees. And Bianca is the one who actually, you know, decides to settle. Bianca is like, you know what? It's not worth it. Give them what they're asking for. Let's leave a little extra just in case. So finally, you know, because many of us have been asking, why is Ye being hit with so many lawsuits? And when we read these lawsuits, they really don't make sense for the most part. And many of us are concerned as to what role does Bianca play? Well, Bianca is now showing that she actually plays a role and she's going to ensure that her husband is protected from the grifters and vultures going forward. Now, let's talk about this report. There's um, two former Yeezy staff. They have filed a lawsuit against Ye. They have play, um, claimed that Ye um, didn't pay them for overtime. And there was some irregularities as to labor law, labor code violations, and all of that. Bianca and Ye is saying, that's not true. There's no wrongdoings in this case. But guess what? We're going to clear this up. We're going to give you guys what you're asking for. And we're going to leave a little money there in case any other former staff or current staff decides that they want to step forward and add to this claim. So let's get into this report. Now, according to the report, former employees of Kanye West, namely Shelby Grochowski and Talia Leslie, are actually seeking to uphold a proposed settlement in their class action lawsuit against him, which is the and his company Yeezy. According to Blast, the lawsuit is actually going on from October 2022. That's the same time Adidas cut ties with Ye. They're saying the lawsuit, which alleges labor code violations and also includes misclassification of the employment status and failure to pay overtime wages. No. The lawsuit further states that um, the company of Kanye West reported, reportedly offered a near about $625,000 to settle the case, although they have denied any sort of wrongdoing. Talia Lesby and... Leslie and Shelby Grochowski eventually claimed that they were misclassified as an independent contractors instead of non-exempt employees, which actually led to unpaid overtime and other labor violations as well. Now, the lawsuit filed by Talia Leslie especially highlights on the issues such as failure to provide meal breaks and compensation for off for off-the-clock work while mandatorily traveling for projects. Now, Talia Leslie also alleged, alleged, allegedly claimed that Kanye was imposed various strict working conditions, which included um, employees to com compulsorily eat outdoors regardless of the weather condition. Blast asserted that the recent lawsuit actually reflects broader concerns about the labor practices within the company of Kanye West, which previously has also faced numerous legal challenges. Adding on to this case, Kanye West is also dealing with lawsuit related to alleged sexual traffic, sexual assault, sorry, from former assistants. Because we've been reading so much about Jean Diddy Combs of talking about ex trafficking, right? No. This $625,000, right? These people are not going to get all of that money. They're going to get a portion of it, maybe half or somewhere there. But what Bianca has done, Bianca decided that they're going to leave the remaining portion. So after Talia and Shelby get what is, um, 
you know, owing to them based on their claims in the lawsuit. The remaining portion, Bianca says that that amount should be left in the event that other staff decides that they're going to come forward and they're going to sue for whatever. Now, also in Shelby and Talia's lawsuit, they are also um, demanding that Ye pays their legal fees Bianca is like, okay, we're going to pay it and we're going to move on from this. So as such, because Bianca is going through all the lawsuits and I think that she might be getting the help of her father, she's getting advice from individuals. And as such, Bianca is ensuring that there are new contracts in place. So with these new contracts, let's say someone is going to do a year's lawn the contract is going to outline what they expect to be done and the amount that person will be paid and no more. So we're going to talk about in that in another video so that you guys can have some more information for your reference. Bianca is definitely stepping up to the plate and it is good that she's doing so to protect her husband. But guys, that's all I have to share in this video. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe and see you guys later. Bye guys.